So for today's video, I'm going to cover terminology that football coaches are always using during a game. This terminology allows defensive coaches to quickly identify the offensive personnel that's out on the field. Now, during the broadcast of a game, at some point you may have heard someone say, the offense was in 21 personnel or the offense was in 12 personnel or something like that. And at that point in time, you might not have understood what they meant. Well, that's what this video is for. I'm going to go ahead and explain what this all means and why defensive coaches are using this terminology. So, what does it mean when someone says the offense is in 21 personnel? To answer that, you have to know what each of the numbers represent. So the first number is always equal to the number of running backs that the offense has in the huddle slash on the field. And the second number is always equal to the number of tight ends that the offense has in the huddle slash on the field. Now notice I'm using terminology in the huddle slash on the field. Generally speaking, you're going to have a defensive coach who's up in the box with binoculars and the opposing team's roster. They're looking at the opposing team's offensive huddle, and they're trying to quickly discern the personnel that the offense has in that huddle so that they can get that information down to the defensive coordinator who's going to make his play call based on the personnel and down in distance and get that out to the defensive player. So you want to be able to get this information quickly to the defensive coordinator and not do it in a convoluted way. That means when someone says the offense was in 21 personnel, there were two running backs and one tight end in, in the huddle or on the field the I formation is a great example of this. You have the tailback, fullback. Those are the two running backs and then tight end. If someone were to say 11 personnel, well, that means one running back and one tight end. Why is it then that coaches are using the numbering system to determine and identify the personnel? Well, let me go ahead and get a little bit deeper into this for you so that you can understand. At, in American football, at most on a play, there's going to be five eligible players. Okay? That means you're removing the quarterback and the five ineligible players. Notice I'm saying five eligible players. Not necessarily always wide receivers, running backs, tight ends, because we do have tackle eligible plays. At most, five eligible players. Because of that, using numbering system for personnel to identify the number of running backs and tight ends allows you to know how many wide receivers the offense is putting on the field. So, for example, we have got 21 personnel. We're going to take that. We're going to take the two plus the one. Remember, two running backs plus one tight end, and that equals three. We're going to take, remember, at most, the five eligible players minus three. Well, that means we're going to have two wide receivers. If we were to do it with 10 personnel, that is 1 plus 0, that is equal to 1, 5 eligible players, at most 5 eligible players, minus 1 means 4 wide receivers. And that's why you use this type of terminology. That's why these coaches are using this type of terminology, because it's quick and simple. By knowing the number of receivers on the field in such a quick way, it allows defenses to match their personnel. Generally speaking, if you're going to be going up against a team that's running three receivers, 11 personnel or 20 personnel, most defenses are going to take out a linebacker and put in an extra defensive back so that there's five defensive backs on the field, one of them being the nickel to match so that you can match the speed of that other wide receiver. The dime defense is for when you have four wide receivers and up, you're going to match that with another defensive back, take out another linebacker. Generally speaking, in 21 or 12 personnel or even 22, the defense is going to kind of stay with their base defense, like a 4-3-3-4, though there are teams that will be 3-3-5 and 4-2-5 that will stay in that look no matter what, who they're playing. But this just gives you an idea. So if you're a defensive coordinator, you can put the right personnel to match the opposing team's personnel on the field. And guess what? If you've played Madden or you've played any of the college football game, you have noticed that as well. It will tell you how many receivers that, uh, that you're, when you're on defense, how many receivers the opposing team is putting out there, along with running backs and tight ends. And you can call your defense based on that. I know that there's the coach suggestion, and generally that's why the coach suggestion will do what it does is based on 
the number of personnel and down and distance, and that's why you get some of the defenses that it calls. But this is a way for you to manually do that as well, call your own defenses in those games if you so choose. But that's what it means. That's why they do it. They do it to help themselves be able to quickly identify. They can quickly identify the, the, the offensive personnel and adjust accordingly quickly, quick enough that they're not trying to be like, okay, who's that tight end or is that not tight end? They've got it ad- identified, and they can, they can run what they need to uh, in a quick manner. So hopefully this video uh, helped you out. Now you know if you're ever listening to a broadcast and they say, hey, they were in 13 personnel, you'll know exactly what that means. One running back, three tight ends, and you can tell your friends. If you did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you're enjoying this type of content, please make sure to subscribe. We'll see you next time, though. Have a great rest of the day. I want to give a shout out to all of our Booster members that are supporting the channel. If you wish to have your name in a video just like this, please make sure to join at the link down below at the Booster member or above. On the next screen, there will be another recommended video. It will be a breakdown video, most likely. Check it out. See what you think of it. Some of them might be commentary, but most of my videos are breakdowns. We'll see you later, though, and have a good one.